Hello everyone. Today my Oculus Rift arrived and I'm so excited and I wanted to just tear it open and get to it right away but I wanted to do an unboxing video instead. So this will be a softly spoken unboxing video for ASMR. We'll start with the uh, shipping box. For those of you who may not know, the Oculus Rift is a virtual reality head-mounted display. So it's a, it's a virtual reality headset that I can put on and be in a virtual world. So, here is the box. On the back, it shows what's included, which is the HMD, the controller, um, this is probably the motion detector. Uh, that looks like a remote, and then some uh, examples of the games that are available. This is a pretty fancy box, I must say. Let's see. So it gives me a URL to go to to set everything up. There's the remote, motion tracker, and the HMD itself. This model is called uh, the Consumer Version 1. Um, the, uh, the previous models were not consumer releases, they were developer's kits. And I didn't get in on the Kickstarter for that, and I didn't 
go for a developer's kit because I'm I I do some programming and stuff, but nowhere near the level I'd have to be able to. Feels pretty sturdy. It's actually lighter than I expected. Here's what it looks like on the inside. The uh there's, there's two lenses, and there's essentially two separate displays, which is what allows you to see in three dimensions. Each of them is from a slightly different angle. Uh, inside it says, no sunlight on lenses and no liquid cleaners. Okay. Attached to the HMD are uh, headphones. seem to read that there was a microphone as well, but I don't see one. It might be built in somewhere I can't see it, or somewhere else. This little opens up. So I got the um uh, pretty sure it's a motion sensor. I can't see any of them at this point, but I th I think there's little infrared or something uh motion motion trackers on the oculus that this will read. I'm, I'm actually not sure about the technical details. Um, inside the panel there is an Xbox controller that will come in handy while I wait for my touch controllers. Uh, I think this is the wireless for the Xbox controller. It even comes with batteries. That's nice. A cleaner. A cloth of some kind. Oh, a sticker. I can put this somewhere. Hmm. stuff for the controller. USB extender. Um, I have no idea what this is. It's a small cylinder that tapers to a flat edge. I, I don't know. I don't know what it is. Let's see. I don't think... I don't know if this one comes out. It doesn't seem to. There should be more cables or something. I guess I'm, this is the main 
HMD cable that's got an HDMI port and USB extender for something in case I need it. I have a couple of these on hand just in case. And this is a USB port as well. USB cable. little booklet. It's the health and safety and warranty guide. It's so tiny. This, this thing, I, what is this? The flat edge makes me think of a screwdriver, but the rest of its shape does not indicate anything like that. Perhaps I'm supposed to pry something with it. But I don't I don't know. Really... Hmm. It's, it's a mystery. <laughs> I don't know, maybe I'll find it either in these instructions or online. This remote is sort of set into the box. This is a nice box, I gotta say. I'm impressed with the box. I imagine with this I'm going to be controlling the, um, the primary Oculus software. I think it's called just Oculus Home. Uh, I guess we'll see. Um, okay, so I'm getting impatient. I'm gonna start setting it up. Uh, my previous experience with virtual reality has just been my trusty little cardboard which which has been pretty good. It lets me watch YouTube videos in, in 360. You put your phone in there and then you can view it through the lenses. Um, this will be a, a bit more sophisticated, so uh, I'm pretty excited. So I will uh, get started on that. And um, thanks for watching, and I'll probably let you know soon how my adventures in VR go.